So welcome everybody, I'm your host Bossage and this is my channel. This is a video that I know for a fact was coming. I've covered this subject before and I'll probably cover it again. But this video was coming whether we liked it or not. So within the last 24 hours China has sent warning after warning to Britain. I've added on my Google News feed because it is based mainly military. Article after article after article about China warns Britain. China warns UK. China threatens Britain. And the one thing that is power man, it, one thing that sticks out in everything, in all the articles, is it's China, then whatever word th that particular article um, says, whether it's threatened, warns, um, it's always China and UK, or China and Britain. It's always them two countries. So, before we get into it into more detail, please comment, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you enjoy the comment. I am just an amateur YouTuber, so all your support is greatly appreciated. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, all these articles are within a 24 hour period. So, the first one I've got is Obey the rules. Beijing warns the UK's Royal Navy enters disputed South China Sea. So, like I was saying, all these articles are the UK and China. But, my issue is. Whether, I don't think it's a, a publication issue, I think it is China having an issue with Britain. This carrier strike group is not just the Royal Navy. Yeah, it's primarily the Royal Navy, but you've got the US, you've got the Netherlands, You've got the American strike group, um, uh, the USS 108 gun is apparently going to join uh, HMS Queen Elizabeth. Um, so, it's not just the UK, loads of countries around the world are saying what China's doing is wrong. They shouldn't be doing it shouldn't be allowed to do it and um, I mean it even says in here China claims the parts of the disputed water as its own despite an international court ruling to the contrary so and that was yesterday that article so they're all within a 24 hour period uh, this one is China tells the UK to obey the rules as well Navy um, and the South China Sea. It says here, China has threatened stern action against the Royal Navy's carrier strike group if it does not remain restrained and obey the rules as it sails through South China Sea. Well that is rich coming from China. The whole point of this carrier strike group and all of these nations being involved is to send a clear message to China that they are not following the rules. The South China Sea does not belong to them. It's freedom of navigation, so it's a 
pot calling the kettle black. They're being hypocritical here. Um, as it also states here um, that the Defence Secretary set the scene earlier um, this month for a confrontation with Beijing when he said the deployment led by the flagship HMS Queen Elizabeth would sail on any route defined as legitimate under international law. So, all them ships in uh, CSG are buying by international law. It has been proven by international court ruling that China does not earn or has got any claim on the South China Sea. Um, and China isn't obeying the, the rules. They're building military bases. Um, they're doing all sorts. Next article. Um, UK says it has no plans for South China Sea confrontation after Beijing warning. So, it goes on to say a naval strike would be sailing through waters heavily contested between China and neighbouring countries. So, nobody, although it says Britain has said it's got no plans to stage a naval confrontation, nobody wants confrontation, but if it does go that way, it goes that way because if you think about it China spent all this money on these military bases outfitting them building them buying the equipment for them as well as plunging gone as much money into their military so for example the building they're wanting to build um, a carrier like for like America, they're there wanting the same amount of carriers. Um, on this article, it says Britain asking for a beating over warship challenge in South China Sea, one's Beijing. Um, it says here, Britain would be a bitch asking for a beating if its aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth challenged China's territorial claims in a disputed South China Sea state media have declared. So China is being very ballsy, if you like, about this. Um, it does sound to me like China's got something to hide and they're wanting to grow in power and might but they don't want people seeing but I'm sorry but whether there's ships from other nations in the South China Sea or not other nations have got satellites so there's more than that way to, to check what they're doing. Um, an editor-in-chief in Global Times uh, said that any incursion into Chinese claimed waters would be made the example of China's determination to safeguard state sovereignty. But the South China Sea China hasn't got any sovereignty over it. Got another one here. China wants the UK as carry strike group purchase. China has won the UK's carry strike group led by aircraft carry HMS Queen Elizabeth not to carry out any improper acts as it enters the contested South China Sea. Well, what does China class as inappropriate? or improper acts 
because as soon as this deployment was um, announced, China was annoyed. They said not for Britain to do it. But it's not just Britain. If you're watching my military channel, then I'm on the assumption that you are interested in military and you have got some basic knowledge of it. Don't mean to sound patronising there, but that's what I'm assuming. So, going on that assumption, um, we know that um, these operations are just like a split second decision. The UK don't ring up America and go, how quick can you get a couple of destroyers over here? We want to sail through the South China Sea. It's a lengthy process to organise these operations. And I imagine the more nations that are involved, the longer it takes because you've got each nation needs to decide what it's going to send, what's going to be available at that time, and all that malarkey. So, China is really off its rocker with this. Um, I was just so desperate to get this video done. Um, that desperate I was at work all last night and I'm still awake now and I just wanted to get this video out here. So yeah, so like my previous South China Sea video um, I mentioned, it comes to two points really, two outcomes. China either attacks the carry strike group, um, makes the first move, which in that case um, They'll be making themselves the enemies of the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, the United States of America. Um, and f uh, quite a few more other countries because it's not just the countries that are in the group, in the carry strike group at the minute. There's others that are set, sail through that piece of ocean. Um, quite regularly and I imagine that China will go right well we've attacked the carry strike group why not attack um, that single ship from France or them couple of ships so or on the other foot China just keeps talking shouting saying no, you can't do that. No, you're not doing that. But actually not doing anything. So you've got... Just being moany, if you like, shouting, having a tantrum on one side, or basically, put it down in a nutshell, war on the other foot. Because that's what it's going to be. Because China will only back down when they get what they want. But they're not going to get what they want because what they want, they're not entitled to. It doesn't belong to them, they're not entitled to it, it's not theirs. So, well anyway, if you want to know more about this, Please look through my military section of videos. There is more on this, although it's older news. I do find it interesting. Any requests for military section videos, please put them in the comments. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Uh, Please subscribe, your support is greatly appreciated. 
And yeah, I'll um, see you next time. Should get interesting. Although it is very interesting at the minute. Bye for now.